One thing like you'll notice as you get older is that if you didn't really sleep well at night, you feel a little short of breath during the day, okay? That's because the body's oxygen starved. And you can, you can literally, one way to make up for a bad night's sleep is just lay in bed and then just hyperoxygenate for about 20 minutes. Just lay in bed and just breathe deeply for about 20 minutes. Shut your eyes and breathe deeply and rotate, like, rotate like, the body. So you'll, you'll lay in bed and just, so after a bad night's sleep, just lay down. We're gonna do this in a minute here, but we'll do a short version of it. But you just lay down and you, you're just, you're breathing deeply like you would in a deep sleep. You know, that deep sleep breathing? And rotate the body across um, back, sides, front. And after about 20 minutes, your energy's back. And you feel like, ah, I'm back again. It's because the body didn't get its oxygen quota, so to speak, met during sleep. And so when you're sleeping, a lot of that oxygen, oxygen is going to provide the energy to make the proteins you need to repair the body. And then getting you into waking back up, you're beginning to restore and replete back the body's ATP levels. And then, you know, it reaches a certain point where, you know, you're energized and you wake up. Okay. But if you had a bad night's sleep, maybe you didn't even get to finishing the repair process off. You didn't even, you know, you didn't have the energy require the oxygen required to make the energy to make the proteins. And so, okay. So you're going to lie down on your back. Hands to my side. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just relax. Okay. Um, do, you want to... do I need a pillow or? Uh, it's up to you. Okay. Totally up to you. Okay. So this is the four axis rotation. Um, so we do this two times a week. Now we're just going to oxygenate all four planes of the body. So take, go to your comfort level, but somewhere between three to seven deep breaths. Okay. And it's going to be mouth or nose? Uh, do, th do through your nose. Go ahead. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this also is, um, is a good, like if you had a disastrous night's sleep, this is good too. It's good to do this. Okay, now rotate on your side. Okay, and you're gonna take uh, same, same number of breaths to your comfort level. And why, why are we turning? Think of the body as like a water balloon, okay? And when you turn the balloon, um, let, let, let's assume that the, the water is halfway filling the balloon. When you turn the balloon, you're getting a different side of the balloon. So what he's doing here actually is he's, he's clearing hypoxia from tissues down here on that side of the body. So as circulation goes down with age, you don't oxygenate all the tissues equally. And so, okay, now turn on, um, turn on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So, this is actually, a, it's a hospital technique. Um, it's called proning. And we're just changing the planes of the body so that he's, he's oxygenating all the tissues in different planes. You'll, you'll begin to notice when you're sleeping, if you're a back sleeper, if you're sleeping on your back and you're just kind of breathing kind of normally, if you turn face down, you'll oxygenate much deeper for about the first minute. You'll be like, it's because the blood is flowing into these areas of the body that are that have hy hypoxia stabilized and it's clearing it. And then when you're done with that, um, lie face down and, and do the same number of breaths. Yeah, there you go. Now what you're going to really notice here is the deep breaths come very naturally now that you're laying face down. Okay. And that's, so the blood is flowing to the lower part of the body, lower part of the brain, and it's just easier to oxygenate those those parts of the body. Okay, now when you're done, just sit up and take three deep breaths. And just take three deep breaths. I feel like I did a slight workout. For sure. But I feel good. Yeah, just good. Like, yeah. energized. Energized, yeah. for sure. For yeah. sure. Um, I also feel like my, my brain is like, Moving a little bit faster. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this this is this is like j true biohacking. This stuff here. It's the way we're timing everything. Like the effect we want here is, um, as we get older, we just don't circulate like we used to. We don't oxygenate like we used to. So we need we need a crutch. I feel young again, honestly.